So for our final video in the actual creation of our website, we're just going to take all of this content that we put in in the last video and we're going to be styling it to fit with our brand. So let's just work from the top to the bottom here. Um, before we start, I just want to give you a few different tips for general design usage. So for one, on any website, you never want to have a color scheme that's more than three colors maximum. And even then, those colors should be very specifically chosen. One of them should be a neutral, so, well actually those don't really count as colors exactly, like for example the blacks and the whites, and all grays. And on top of that you want to have two accent colors, so in our case I'm going to be picking out of our logo, so I'll be picking like this sort of deep brick color here, and this little orange color, which actually just so happens to match the colors we already have. So I'm probably just going to stick with these yellow colors because I know that they work well with this layout. But um, in general, you just want to stick with two accent colors at the very most. Usually just one will be fine. And the same goes for fonts. Like you'll notice that uh, in our default settings, we have one font styling for the headers and one font styling for the body text. So you never want to have more fonts than just that. And you'll notice that actually even these over here, they look like a different font, but they're actually this font in uppercase. So we just need to keep those in mind. And if you follow those rules, then you'll really keep yourself from falling into some of the common pitfalls that amateurs tend to get stuck in when they're working on their own websites. So let's start at the top. So I could make a choice here to change the font of these, but I actually kind of like them. I, I like how they are. But if we're changing, let's say we did want to change the, the styling of this. Let's go over here to design, style editor. So what I like about Squarespace is that they put all of the stylings here in just this one little tab. You can style everything about your site just from this, which very, very handy, right? So site header is this part right here. See when I hover over it, I get this, this blue box. So let's say that we wanted to make the background color, let's say orange. So we can't see it up here because if you noticed, transparent on banner images. If I uncheck it, it's orange. Now that, that's not so nice, so we're not going to keep that. But you will see this color down here when you're scrolling all the way down. So I actually, I liked it black. But you know, maybe a little bit of a brick color isn't a bad idea. So let's just make it... There we go, that's kind of nice, right? Okay. Uh, logo, logo width, so we can change our logo size if we want. I actually like it where it was, which was at 200 pixels wide. And we can also... Padding is basically exactly what it sounds like. Anytime you see the word padding, it means how much space is within the bounds of the uh, the element. So what did we have this at? 30, I think. Let's keep it there. Okay, so site navigation. Link font. Right now we're on a railway, which is what everything on this site is right now, I think. And I could go ahead and change it to something that matches the logo a little bit better. I think I decided that I wanted my to be Arvo, but I actually like Railway better. So let's let's head back over there. Yeah, I like that. Let's let's keep it. Link active color. So this is we're on home right now. So home is this orange color. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to change it. Always use overlay nav. So that means you can always have this little you know the mobile style sort of nav. I don't like that at all, so I'm going to get rid of that. Show on scroll. So that's whether, you know, whether we have this pop up when we scroll down. And we do. I like that. Actually, I feel like our font might have gotten a little bit... There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? Okay. P 
page banner, so page title. I think that this might not be relevant for this particular theme because we have our logo image. Let's just leave it checked just in case. So, before we get into this stuff, let's just finish taking care of this top section here. So if we hover up to the very top of this, this box, we can hit edit. Um, that's not what we want to do. Here we go. Page content. Remove background image. We'll hit that. Because we want to replace this image with something that's actually ours, right? Let's do insert background image. And I like this one right here. Uploading, processing. There we go. That really works, right? Because we specialize in scallops, so that makes sense, even though these are oysters, I think. But even so, let's just pretend that they're scallops for the time being. <laughs> All right, let's, this looks good to me. So let's continue moving right down the page. So if we head back to styling all over again, style editor. So if you'll notice that when you're editing these, all of these have a different, different tag. So this right here is heading two. So if we click on any one of these, it'll bring up the style editor for that particular kind of element. So let's work on heading two. We want to change this to a nice brick color to match that logo. Let's go with there we go. And we're going to copy this code right here because you don't want to have like slight variations of all the, the different um, colors because um, I mean, it's going to start, people are going to be able to pick up on it. It doesn't look very professional to have like five different reds that are just a little bit off from each other. So we're also going to want to change the font because I feel like we should have a font that goes back to our branding a little bit more. So let's pick Arvo right here. So see how that kind of echoes? Whoops, if I could, I can't scroll right now. Here we go. See how that font that we just picked kind of echoes the font up there? Actually, I do feel like this red needs to be a little bit brighter, too. There we go. And we're going to copy that again. And maybe let's... let's mm, I actually like it um, a little bit thinner. So let's go back to 400. All right. And I feel good about the body text the way that it is, to be honest. So I'm not even going to change that. And the other thing that I could potentially change is this heading three. I can change the color or the font. And if I wanted, I could make this font the same as the font that I just chose for heading two. But I actually kind of like it the way that it is. I feel like it's pretty elegant looking and it, I like it right here. So let's, let's leave that. Oh, and I just realized that what we forget to do is change this font right here. So this, we definitely want to also be Arvo. So like I said, we only want two fonts, and right now we've got Arvo and Railway. So let's make this Arvo. And again, I, I am kind of like it thinner. So let's stay that way. Save. All right. So here's another thing. Let's um, replace this gallery here with our own images. So add images or video. Great. Now, if you want, you can put a text overlay on these things. I'm not going to do that because I don't want them for this particular website, but it's just a matter of adding text right here. All right, save and publish. Let's do a second one. We've got, uh, 
Yeah, let's, I like the ones of the guys in the kitchen. Even though we used it already, but let's pretend that we have more images than we actually do for our fake restaurant. Hmm, hang on. Looks like it's not actually updating for some reason, so let's just refresh the page and see whether that kind of gives it a little kick in the pants. Here we go. So that's that's really nice, right? That's a, some nice visuals right there. Okay, let's move on down to the menu. And we want to change this logo, right, to our logo. So let's edit it. Remove, add an image. And we want the Goodman Grill logo. And it looks like, once again, it's not going to behave for us with refreshing. Oh, hang on. I forgot to save, that's why. And let's refresh again to make this update. There we go. That looks nice, right? And I feel pretty good about the way most of this looks. I don't really feel the need to change any of the fonts. Again, I'm still a little torn. Actually, why don't we just see how this looks if we were to change this yellow font. So let's head over to the design, style editor. And just click on these. Let's switch this to Arvo just to see what it looks like. I don't know, it looks a little too Wild West for my taste, personally. Maybe if we were to... Ugh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Let's let's bring that back to real way. I like that much more. And I think we probably had it around 600. There we go. Save. Make a reservation. If you've noticed, that already uh, it looks like one of the style changes we already made must have affected this. Maybe heading one? Yeah. So actually, let's change this color, too, to that red color that we copy-pasted earlier. There we go. And About Us looks good. Contact Us looks good. And uh, it actually looks like we're in good shape. So see how Squarespace um, does a lot of the work for you, and then even after that, it makes it very easy to modify your designs. So I suggest that with your website, you follow the same sort of model that I followed here, which was insert content and then style it. So that way you know exactly what you're getting. Oh, you know, I did want to do one more thing. How about if we just try adding a background image to this, uh, this menu here? Let's do insert background image. Here we go. Let's have that. Processing image. There we go. I like that. But I do think it kind of competes with the gallery right above it. So why don't we take our reservation block and just put it right above our menu. Let's try moving that around. Pages. And all we have to do is drag it right up here. So now we have a little bit of a buffer between all of these things. And I think that that helps it out visually quite a lot. So what do you think? Look good? I think that we're in pretty good shape. And with that, I mean, if I wasn't doing all these videos and narrating it through, 
This probably would have only taken me about an hour to set up, not including all of, obviously, the planning and the, um, the content writing and the getting everything together, but the creation of the website itself is actually really simple. So now you know everything that you have to do. Oh, sorry. Now you know everything that you have to do to make your very own restaurant website. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So in our last video, our final video, we're just going to talk about what your next steps are and kind of wrap up everything that we've talked about so far. As always, please don't hesitate to leave me some questions in the comments and check out my website at www.restaurantmarketingnews.com to find out some more information. All right, I'll see you guys next time.